Hi again, my friends. Um, I was telling you about how I had found this beautiful blue um, egg shell while I was running around with my girls playing tag in a grassy area with lots of trees. Um, and then I had to stop playing tag because I didn't want to um, break that delicate treasure of an eggshell. Um, and then I wanted to read, share this book with you. It's so beautiful. It's called An Egg is Quiet by Deanna Aston and Sylvia Long. And I've wondered if you have ever found an eggshell before, particularly in the spring season. And if not, I'm wondering also if, you're th if you can think of what kind of animals lay eggs? What kind of animals have eggs when they make their babies and their babies come out? They come out as eggs and they grow in the eggs and then they hatch. What kind of animals do that? So think about that while you're enjoying this beautiful book called An Egg is Quiet. And is an egg quiet? Beautiful speckled pattern, right? And here are a bunch of eggs. Well, this is gonna answer one of our question. So this is a gray catbird egg. This is a hepatic tanager, a herring gull, a harlequin bug. Okay, let's see. Oh, an Atlantic salmon. Salmon is a fish, did you know that? And a turkey and a penguin. And a field cricket, that's not a bird. And right here is an American robin egg. And that is what I found. I wish I could show you. Oh, well here's, right, this egg, and this is the piece. This is the eggshell that matches a robin's egg. It's, oh, it is actually this very popular color called robin egg blue. And so I found an American robin egg. An egg is quiet. An egg is quiet. It sits there under its mother's feathers, on top of its father's feet, and buried beneath the sand. Warm, cozy. So in the mother's feathers, a hummingbird. Top of its father's feet of a penguin. And here's a sea turtle and they bury their eggs inside, under the sand, beneath the sand. An egg is colorful. Look at all these different colors that eggs can come in. There's my robin egg again. But look at this, it's like, it's green. Oh, that's green. Some yellows and then there's some pinks and reds. There's that teeny field cricket egg again. Right, look at all the different colors. So eggs are quiet, eggs are colorful. They're warm and cozy. An egg is shapely. So there are round eggs, there are oval eggs, there are pointy eggs, and there are even tubular eggs. Tubular, do you hear that word tube? So this is an egg that belongs to a dogfish. And it says that while most sharks give birth to live young, some sharks like the lesser spotted dogfish begin life in a leathery egg case with tendrils. And the tendrils anchor the eggs, they attach the eggs to the seaweed so they won't be swept away by the current. So this is really a shark egg. Sometimes you can find those on the beach. The markings on some eggs help them blend in with their surroundings. This is called camouflage. Camouflage is an egg's way of hiding. So an egg is clever. It's smart, right? It will camouflage itself into where, and into its environment, into its surroundings. Why would it do that? Because an egg does not want to be eaten by a raccoon or a snake or a fox or an insect. So can you find the egg here? And they, they give us a hint. It's this one. But this looks like it too, right? Good camouflaging. Eggs are clever. Eggs come in different sizes. This is the big one. And these are the little ones. This is ostrich egg. And this is a hummingbird egg. So this egg, you it says that you actually have to hold it with two hands. 
but this egg is so little, it's the size of a jelly bean. An egg is artistic. Just look at all the colors and the patterns. It's beautiful. An egg is textured. Do you remember what textured means? You did some texture work with Miss Tony Ann. It's the way it feels, right? So eggs can be hard. They can be soft, like reptile eggs are soft. They're, they're a little bit squishy. And they can be gooey, which is another word for slimy. Amphibian eggs are gooey. And they can be smooth. So egg that belong to birds or bird eggs are smooth and hard at the same time. And rough. So this might be a little bit bumpy when you touch it. An egg might even be fossilized. You know what a fossil is, right? The remains of creatures that died millions of years ago may become rock hard or fossilized. Scientists have unearthed fossilized dinosaur eggs all over the world. Some are round and some are oblong, that's a long round shape, and some are as small as one inch across, and some are as large as 20 inches, which is bigger than this book. Scientists believe all dinosaurs hatched from eggs. An egg is giving. An egg gives the little creature growing inside it everything it needs. The shell is its home. The yolk is its food. The egg white is its pillow. And then the shell is covered with teeny tiny holes which allow air to enter. And here are some life cycles of some animals that are um, growing inside the egg and then they hatch. This is the hen. This is the salmon, and this is the grasshopper. And it says that the grasshopper embryo rests inside its egg until the weather is just right. I would say right now a lot of grasshoppers are going to be jumping around soon. Oh, look at these feet. An egg is quiet. Then suddenly, okay, so let's be quiet. Tap, tap, tap. What's that? Something's pecking to get out. So the egg is quiet. Then suddenly, an egg is noisy. Cheep, cheep, peep, peep, cheep, cheep, peep, 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 peep. And this caterpillar is going crunch, crunch, crunch. And this green vegetable bug is going crunch, 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 crunch. All of a sudden, it was, it was once quiet and now it's so noisy. Eggs have cracked open. Oh, look at the birdies, they're hungry. And here's the last page with all the different animals. And you know, it's funny because I just realized this. Here are the eggs in the beginning, and here are the animals that came out of them. So you see there's the American Robin, and there's the American Robin egg. There's a ladybird beetle and a sparrow, these are two sparrows. You see these in the city a lot. There's the emperor penguin. There's a harlequin bug. We saw the salmon egg we saw. There's the little hummingbird. All these, oh, there's a green vegetable bug. Have you ever heard of that? I never did. A blue crab. Aren't these beautiful pictures? There's the dogfish, shark. There's the speckles again. That's the back. Aren't these beautiful watercolors? And that is, an egg is quiet. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, shh.